Alright, welcome back. Well, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, Tallgrass Brewing's Top Rope IPA. And you see right in the middle where the P is. It's like a little dent. Well, what it is is bought this, some uh, a six pack of resin from uh, Six Point, and two, two of the founders' KBSs for the 2016 release. Down yeah, they had um, five left, and I picked up two of them. They had them actually hidden behind the counter. I had to specifically ask for them because they, they had them hidden because, well, it's a hard beer to get. And I think I picked them up for about six apiece, something around there. So it's actually a pretty good deal. Anyway, that's uh, where one of the caps stabbed the can upon putting it on the counter. Which is funny because the box of all the beers were in the trunk of my car for about six hours riding around town. And, uh, they were fine then, so I'll put this to the side. I got the beer already already poured. You can tell not much really leaked. It just kind of sprayed. I put my thumb over it and cracked it open and stuck it in here. But it's it's room temp. It is uh, 6%. A lot of the smell is already gone, but I was getting a um, heavy pine. And I'm getting kind of a Kind of a sour. Kind of an odd kind of a sour kind of smell now. Not really getting a whole bunch of pine. I'm getting a lot of uh, sour-esque bitterness. So, for room temp IPA, let's see how this is. Good pininess. Not really getting any sort of heavy resin. It's a, uh, I say, light to medium body. It's not really heavy at all. The bitterness it takes a little bit to kick in, but then it kind of gets you. I say more in the back of your tongue to the middle of your tongue. Since it's warm, I don't know if it's because it's warm or the alcohol in it is hidden, but you're getting a little kick to the throat, a little, little warming, not a burn. I mean, you can probably chug half of one of these and not feel anything. Uh, doesn't feel heavy on the stomach. It doesn't feel, you know, burning in the stomach whatsoever. I will say it's rather good for being room temp. I was expecting it to be a little, a little harsher. I do have one of their reps uh, named Jared. He's on my Facebook, and he posted something about it was one of the top IPAs of something. I don't remember. I have to look it up. But um, if I look anything up and find anything, I'll I'll be sure to let you know. And of course, in the bottom. So it is a good drinker. Of course, it'd be good with pastas, pizzas, anything like that, burgers. Real good overall beer. Uh, we went to Walmart today, and I, you know, Oklahoma does have open carry, and I was concealing in uh, my Glock 19. There was a guy walking in front of us, and he was open carry, and it looked like a, um, I don't know, it looked like a single stack. I mean, it really wasn't that wide. It was about that big. It looked like it might have been like a, um, judging by the way the back of the magazine looked, like a, uh, like an MMP or something, but. I think the Shield's the only single stack auto that they make. I mean, it looked newer. Anyway, but he was uh, he was walking with his family. And I thought about going up to him and saying, Excuse me, sir, you, you, you dropped this. I think that'd be funny to do to somebody. Having a word with the fellow YouTuber today, I'm not going to say who he is, uh, he doesn't live 
Let's say he doesn't live on the continent. And uh, he was talking about possibly moving up to like uh, like Arizona or something. Just because it's... I don't know. I think it'd be a great idea. I mean, you're wanting to, to go from a place that's kind of restrictive on guns to a place that's, you know, within the, the top the top ten of uh, gun rights. I do believe Oklahoma is actually mm, probably in the seven or eight. I'd have to look, but judge it by last year. But um, there's already four bills that have been written up this year. One of them was already passed. I think that was for to like null and void any government restrictions. I do believe Oklahoma is a sovereign state. And I'd, I'd have to look it up, but I'm pretty sure we are. Um, one of them was to allow, like you can already hunt on private property with suppressors, uh, but the next bill was to allow hunting with suppressors on public land. I don't remember. And then uh, another one, which I'm, I keep hearing mixed, mixed things about it. Uh, it's either for open carry without a permit with a, for, with a pistol, or it's open carry without a permit with a pistol, rifle, and shotgun. Um, I, I'm kind of mixed on that. I'll be doing a video uh, the farther it progresses. If it does make it, to, uh, I think it's at the House right now to get voted on. And then it has to get um, voted on by the people around presidential election time, and then or maybe it's the governor, and then people. I don't know. It's I don't remember. It's all backwards and shit for me. But I'll be making a video about that and. Um, I forgot what the third bill was, or the fourth bill was for. Anyway, I'd have to look it up. And I'll be doing a video, uh, since it's, it's progressing pretty well, to modernize Oklahoma's liquor laws. If you live in Texas or anything like that, you would, you would know. It'd be pretty much just like, just like Texas, the same laws and everything. But um, I gotta be able to take my my son in the liquor store, uh, be able to get, they can't, I mean, they can't even sell fucking corkscrews and ice at liquor stores here, be able to sell that, uh, be able to have cold beer in liquor stores, uh, be able to have wine and uh, flat point, which would be, you know, not 3.2 like it is here, uh, like Budweiser would be 5%, and all your other shit beers, but um, you'd be able to get good beers like Lagunitas and shit, in convenience stores and Walmart. Um, I mean, if they want to look at it at this point, this standpoint, maybe a lot of extra tax revenue, which Oklahoma fucking needs it. I'll tell you a little story. We always get back money from federal. We, me and my wife pay an extra $10 in per check. Um, I think we got 1800 or 1900 something like that this last year. Uh, well, we had to pay in $180 to state. When I pay $20, and she pays $10 extra per check. That's some bullshit. I mean, fuck, what am I fucking money going toward? Bernie Sanders supporters? Cunts. Anyway, if you're a Bernie Sanders supporter and you're watching this, just, just bypass that one. Wait till I give this uh, a rating, or you can just type in the comments that I offended you. You can bring your, you know, fucking BLM and shit with you as well. This is actually good, all around beer. Um, I do believe it came in four packs. Uh, I think a four pack. Actually, I know it came in four packs. A Sixteen ounce four pack, I believe, was ten ish, nine, ten, eleven dollars. Really, not too expensive. I believe this uh, this one sixteen ounce can was like near in three dollars. <sighs> My bra and son's glass got from Texas. This is a North Texas original draft or I'm sorry, craft beer from Fort Worth. Um, for IPA, I mean it's an easy drink. It's not the best I've had. It's not. Not uh, not middle of the road. It's definitely better than that. I'm gonna toss that a uh, eight and a half. I've had a lot better IPAs than this, but if you're into the pine, this will be right up your alley. Bitterness is not. 
it's not too bad. If you're you're new to the craft world, you might want to stick to something a little lighter. Um, this might push you away from IPAs. But you're getting not really a dry bitter. It's just a it's more like a dusty. Like you got like a dusty. Like you inhale through your mouth when you're fucking driving a motorcycle down dirt road or something. It's about what it is. So there you go. And uh, I'm gonna edit this up real quick. It's Saturday night. I'll have it up uh, in less than an hour. And we'll be seeing you.